last June. And the cauldron are here for Hanau's fans in all of the league. They certainly don't make it an inviting place for visiting teams to come, do they? Uh, just before kickoff, let's take you back to LA's game last week against New England and look at our Continental Tire Analyst Corner with Taylor. You know, what's made, Adrian, this team in LA Galaxy under Bruce Arena very successful over the years is their commitment to defend. And right now, whether Omar Gonzalez is in there or not, it's not good enough. This ball is 25, 30 yards from your goal. Immediate pressure has to be to Shari Joseph from Janino. Sarvas, the center midfielder, today will be Michael Stevens. That immediate pressure has to be there, but Todd Donovan is too far away from A.J. De La Garza. If he's in tight, Kevin Alston can't get in behind in a dangerous spot to score goals. L.A.'s got to get back to that determination, that commitment as a collective unit to get that ball back quick. Well, Bruce Arena said uh, if he'd had his way at halftime last week, he would have substituted all 11 players. Unfortunately, that wasn't an option available to him. <laughs> Peter Vermees, the opposing coach, tonight took over in August 2009, his third full season, and putting together a very impressive record. Of course, they were Eastern Conference champions, or rather, at top of the table at the end of last season. They lost the Eastern Conference Championship here on home soil to the Houston Dynamo. The Los Angeles Galaxy rather reeling with this one and two start three home games and two defeats showed you new england from last week also lost at home to real salt lake on opening day they interspersed that with a victory against dc united and all three of their games have finished 3-1 so far and as edson buddle will be looking to get amongst the goals it's a fearsome front line again donovan buddle and keen together it is arguably the game of the season so far in MLS. It is champions against challengers. It is West against East. And we're underway at Livestrong Sporting Park. With the Galaxy wearing white. And the home pale blue in Sporting Kansas City. Terrific, terrific afternoon in store for us. We're thinking, what is it, a 3 p.m. Local kickoff, 3 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. There's an old school feel to it. An early chance for Kai Kamara to test the resolve of the metal of this LA defense. It's a good header down. Bobby Convey trying to pick up the pieces. But it seemed as though CJ Sapong had been uh, interfered with a little bit there. Right in front of the cauldron, too early on in this game keep an eye on cj sapong going up against tommy meyer in only his second start in mls he's got his hands full with the big man and tommy meyer wearing number 21 the uh, first round draft pick for bruce arena and this january super draft out of the university of indiana just one mls game that came in the 3-1 home defeat to rsl and some bubble back in the league back amongst the goals he scored in that game, and it wasn't enough for LA. A lot has been written about and spoken about the uh, front three for Sporting Kansas City, Kamara, Sabong, and Bobby Convey, but that front three for Los Angeles Taylor, enough to strike fear into the heart of any MLS defense. Buddle, Keane, and of course Donovan playing more of a midfield role today. And you're leaving out Mike McGee as well. So if LA wants to get back on track, first they've got to commit themselves to defend, but allow those four guys to do what they do, is that get into the attack and score goals. It's been a positive start already for Sporting Kansas City, and this is a weapon they possess. Matt Beasley has a really long throw on him, almost Rory to lap like for those of you who watch the English Premier League. And in the middle, there's a huge distance. And it's a Confident take by Josh Saunders. Still a little risky to have your center back leave the position to go have a long throw in. Josh Saunders comes out. If Donovan or Butter up front, watch out for the quick counter. Saunders who's taken over the number one role after the departure of Donovan Ricketts. He left in the offseason to go to Montreal. Montreal getting their first MLS win today against Toronto. Show you highlights of that at half time. AJ Delegazzo, a lot of increased uh, 
weight and burden of responsibility on his shoulders without Omar Gonzalez. Sensed a quiet confidence and determination in the LA camp, and Taylor, when we visited them yesterday. Yeah, I mean, and rightfully so. It's early on in this season, but again, there is concern. You can see it on their faces, and as a player, when you've given up seven goals at home, sometimes it's better to go on the road, regroup, come together, where you know you're in a hostile environment. It's going to test yourselves on the road. Can you come together and fix the problem in the back? Throw in that home leg in the CONCACAF Champions League. Four home games, in which they conceded nine goals. And Taylor, that's more than the total they conceded last year in all MLS games. And they're up. under the cosh a little here. The free kick conceded by Tommy Meyer. And the cauldron. See that as a signal to uh, increase the decibel level. Graham Zussi, of course, has been in tremendous form. Over the man you think you might step up and take this. And he's not your traditional playmaker, Adrian. He can finish, get in the attack, and really score goals. One goal and five assists already for him. Zussi trying to tee it up. Nice little variation on the set play. Just touched behind as Julio Cesar was lurking. Good spot from Sean Franklin, not to get caught sleeping on the play. Zussi. They come across and uh, take the first corner in front of the cauldron. Fourth year in the league. They really uh, exploded in the second half of last season, Graham Zussi. Forced his way into the US national team reckoning in doing so. Though, able to let that run. It's a bit of improvisation from Julio Cesar. Brazilian, the 33 uh, year old, one of the uh, new favourites for the cauldron. 20,000 sold out here at Livestrong Sporting Park. Uh, she's put an extra 1,500 tickets on sale. Standing room only tickets. Those went as well. And all gone by Tuesday. Moved on a long way in the league, haven't we? Where uh, the lack of David Beckham may impact the draw of Gal the Galaxy on the road. His first touch. Sinovic, he's been another success story. Look at how a sporting Kansas City shape up against their baseball rivals of the city, Kansas City Royals. Bridging not many more now than sporting Kansas City. Here's Robbie Keane. With Mike McGee forward in support. Keane had stayed onside. McGee is through here. Mike McGee for Ellen has put it wide well after being on the back foot for the first five or six minutes what a chance that was for the champions no and this is just what robbie king could do it's such a good position to peel off the back but he slows his run down that allows mike mcgee to put chance myers at his at his own this is a great run for mike mcgee but robbie king slows down to allow the overlapping run just why, but it's Robbie Keane slowing down, allowing Mike McGee to come full force, and that's what LA does. The moment they win the ball, allow McGee and Donovan to get forward. Mike McGee playing his 200th MLS game today. He's only the sixth player to reach that mark before the age of 28. Extremely underrated. Big games, big goals for this club in LA Galaxy. At age, only age 27, he's got a lot more to offer. Seth Sinovic, nicely done. Oh, handball shouts. What's the referee done? Now oh, he's given a corner. Espinosa was appealing, so we're most at the cauldron right in front of him. Andrew Espinosa, the Honduran international, who's a, a vital part of this KC midfield. Good spot from Giannino to get forward. 
Ball hits him in the arm, but again, here we go again. Discussion of whether or not that hand, that arm, is within the body. To be revisited after this corner, perhaps. Which comes in from Sinovic, and then another great take by Josh Saunders. He's been busy early on, especially in the air. That's one way to take away the absence of Omar Gonzalez. Cross is coming in. If your keeper can come off the line like Josh Saunders has early on in this game, allows the rookie Tommy Meyer to have a deep breath. Now Kai Kamara settling. The season he's already having for himself. That will bring you a big feature on Kai Kamara at halftime. His story is a remarkable one. Let's uh, go back to the handball, Taylor, and have a closer look. Uh, could this have been given as a penalty? Well, you've seen it given before, but Janino's arm is inside his body. I, I'm okay with that not being called. It was very close, wasn't it? No more than two yards away. Could he really have got his arm out of the way? You shocked the center forward, said it's not a handball? <laughs> There's another chance to really uh, test the makeup of this LA defense. Still struggling to cope with life without Omar Gonzalez. Susi, so adept at finding the soft spot in any defense. He's gone far post, where Beasler was lurking. No corner. I'm not so sure LA Galaxy won AJ De La Garza go marking up Matt Beasler inside the 18-yard box. That's a mismatch. You see Matt Beasler coming in late, deep. Next set piece from Sporting KC. I'm looking at that matchup and trying to free up Matt Beasler. Beasler, the eighth pick of the 2009 draft. Notre Dame, but he's a Kansas.